morning guys so i have a bit of a question for you um this is only for people who catheterize which i know is such a random thing to start this vlog off with but i kind of need some advice so currently i am going to show you guys the catheters i use i used to use the coloplast speedy cath compact ones which I loved until I found out that actually they don't fully empty your bladder because they're actually really, really tiny. I don't have one here to show you, but you can search up um, Speedy Cath Compact. The female ones are about this big um, and they're tiny and I loved them until, yeah, I found out that they don't actually fully empty your bladder. So I was started getting UTIs and I was like, but why? I'm catheterizing like every day. And it's because actually the urine is still left in your bladder. So for anyone that actually uses those, you know, you might be fine. But for me personally, it didn't work. So these are the ones that I use at the moment. I use the Speedy Cath ones, but they're just like the normal. They're the 12 French ones, um, female, um, and they look like this. The only issue I have is they're so expensive. They're $90 a box for 30 So I need three boxes because I have to catheterize three times a day. Um, but I've been doing it less, like once or twice a day because I'm trying to make them last because they're so expensive. So it's like 270 something dollars for a month of catheters. That's not including like the wipes or the alcohol stuff, which is fine because I can use the same stuff that I get for my Hickman. Anyway, long story short, um, I want to know if you guys use the same brand as me. Uh, how much you pay for one box of 30 um, and where you get them from because I'm trying to find somewhere cheaper because I get mine through Independence Australia um, which from the research that I've done that is the cheapest yeah, and it's just too expensive for me I'm, re I'm really trying to like make them last so I'm really cutting down on how many I should be using but ideally I should be doing it three times a day to make sure my blood is empty um, so at the moment I'm doing it like first thing in the morning and then right before bed. Um, and it's working, but I can also tell that there is still urine in my bladder when there shouldn't be. Good morning, well afternoon, it is four o'clock. Um, I've just edited yesterday's vlog that's currently uploading. Um, and I'm just about to plan out some stuff and I've got some also uh some stuff to do for my online study and i'm also currently working online with a company um i'm not going to say the details because you know it's private <laughs> but i'm currently doing some part-time work with them so i've got some stuff to do with that so i'm just doing some work and i have american horror story season six on in the background hey guys so i just saw my camera sitting on the table when i was like hmm when was the last time I vlogged today? Completely forgot. That doesn't really happen to me usually. So literally, since the last clip you saw, which was like early, way early this afternoon, it's now ten, quarter past ten at night. And I've just not vlogged at all, so... Anyway. Just about to set up my TPN, so I'm coming to get it. Anyway, I just wanted to say sorry that I haven't vlogged today, is all. I really want to start working out more, because, well, I say working out more, I want to start working out full stop because I literally need to do more exercise because honestly I don't do enough exercise and now that I'm like you know have the energy to do it I feel like I just need to do it more and I'm so annoyed because like, I'm always literally bloated nowadays like I can't remember the last time my stomach wasn't bloated and I just like it makes me feel so uncomfortable like not just like the look of it just like the actual feeling of being bloated like I hate it so I really want to try and work on my like I don't even know because exercise is not going to help the blow, it's the gastroparesis. I need to try and improve like the bacteria in my stomach. And I, I recently found out when I was reading through some of my medical notes that I've got something, what is it called? It's like leaky gut syndrome or something? I don't know, but basically I think that doesn't help. It's like when bacteria leaks from the gut or something. I don't know exactly what it's about, but I recently found that out, so... Yeah, that would have been really been loving. I have to be quiet because people are asleep, like literally right there. Um, and it's kind of late, but I just brewed the kettle. I'm really loving like lemon and honey water, or even just drinking like um, boiled hot water. And I guess my question is for you guys: Does anyone else like drinking like just hot boiled water? Because I love it so. I prefer it actually to drinking normal water, except if it's really really hot, then I probably won't have it. But when it's like cooler, like it is right now. 
I enjoy it. So I'm just gonna put some boiling water in. This is just um, like freshly squeezed lemon juice, but it's just like already squeezed for you, so you don't have to do it. There's air in my pump. Fun times. Anyway, lemon juice in. I'm gonna just put a little bit of honey. I can't vlog and push my um, poll, so I'm gonna have to stop vlogging. Good morning, everybody. So it is the next day. I decided to carry on this vlog. I know I've got probably enough footage for a vlog for yesterday, um, but I'm not planning on vlogging much today, which is why I'm also vlogging today. I'm about to head to Courtney's house because I, well, we're meeting up, the girls are meeting up, and we're doing like a bullet journal day. I don't know if everybody's coming because a few of the girls aren't feeling well, but I think it's gonna be me, Courtney, and Nina at the moment. All right, well, I'm about to leave now, so I will see you guys in a bit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog while I'm there, but I'll vlog when I get home, if not. It's not as hot as I thought it was outside, which is good for me because the heat is a big cheer. All right, anyway, I will see you guys later. I hope you're all well and Thank you so much for everyone that has bought um, the things that make you go hmm merch. Um, literally, Tom and I are blown away by how, like, your support. We had no idea how many people have, like, we didn't think that many people would buy it. Um, so thank you so much to everyone. There is, it is up until, I think it's like a twin, I think the campaign goes to 21 days, so I'm not really sure how many days are left. It should be like 15 days or something. So, basically after the campaign has ended, the shipment will ship out guys you know you have to wait till the end of the campaign is over before the merch is made and shipped to you if that makes sense um so make sure you guys get it before that date if you want to your shirt or jumper to go out in the first shipment um and yeah that's pretty much it so i know i haven't vlogged in a quite a few hours um well actually since this morning okay anyway so after we had our little um bullet journal thing which i'm gonna show you my bullet journal but before i do i actually went shopping afterwards and i got a few little bits um i was trying to find an outfit to wear for saturday i couldn't find anything so but i did buy a top that i thought i could wear with my skirt so let me just quickly show you that well actually no, i bought two tops one was like on sale for like five dollars so i was like why not so i got this which is just like a little kind of cropped one which i thought i could wear with like high-waisted jeans or a high-waisted skirt got that and then i got this white one which this was $20 um, and I wasn't going to get it because I thought it was a bit expensive for what it is because it's so like basic but I really thought basic it looked bitch. quite... <laughs> what did you just say? Basic bitch. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Yo, a basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought it was a bit basic. <laughs> Basic bitch. <laughs> but it looks quite elegant on. It's got like a little like twisty knot thing at the bottom and it looked really nice on, so basic but I liked it. <laughs> basic bitch. <laughs> I just want someone to find just every time I say basic, I just want someone to follow me around like basic bitch in the back. It's anyway. Like Game of Thrones. Shame. Um, <laughs> shame. Da -ding, da -ding, da -ding. If you guys watch Game of Thrones, you know what we're talking about. Shame. <laughs> anyway. Shame. Shush. <laughs> Um, so then I picked up some books. Now, you guys know I have a huge freaking thing of books I need to read, but I keep seeing them and I keep thinking, oh, I'll read that and then I'll read that, but I'm so slow. I'm not, I can't read books at the speed that I used to. So, shush. So, what? I'm just heckling. Right, we'll stop because people can't understand what I'm saying if you're mumbling in the background. We'll all stop what they're saying because I'm Northern. Yup, it sick passes by. Do you want to leave it out? You're having a laugh. It's the southerners. Right. Anyway, so I've got this big thing of books that I need to Wait. read. Shush. <laughs> and I'm going to Ikea on Sunday with my dad and stuff. And we're going to buy like a dresser for this oh. corner. And we're going to get rid of the mirror. And all this stuff is going to have like 
be a place to put it basically and we're gonna try and get like a dressing table with like some mirror or something and then above it i want to have like a bookshelf so i can put all my books on oh, so yeah. i will probably go proper properly go through the bookshelf once i ha get one to show you all the things that i have however these are the books that i bought today you guys know i've been wanting this for ages i was gonna borrow it off nina but i um decided that i would actually want a hard copy for myself so i bought it and it was on special um half price <clears throat> excuse me um <laughs> i seemed like i was being really sarcastic but i didn't was <coughs> half price but it was half price so i've got five feet apart i really want i'm reading this currently because i'm like a few chapters in because i want to read it before the film comes out and I, I think it's either march or april one place says march comes out the other one says it's april so it's one of those months it depends where you live i think then i got this this is by john green this is turtles all the way down um because I really wanted to read this and yeah that's on my to, to read and then I also got this one which is looking for Alaska and this is also by John Green if you guys don't know who John Green is he's the um, author of The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns so I love those books um, and I read both of those books before I saw the films I want to read this one after five feet apart and then this one and then I can get on to that Jodie pickup book that I got a while ago well, actually not a while ago i can't remember what it was called now <laughs> stop filming me i'm stressed you cranky crap i'm cranky i'm stressed oh. because i can't get this drawer open can't I'm get the drawer open i'm trying to open all my books oh look at my books <laughs> my name is fisher and look at my books shut up my wealthy books no shut up no <laughs> Fine. this is the real amy fisher <laughs> <laughs> cranky uh, yeah. everybody everybody gets cranky okay <laughs> just you get cranky all the time can I show them my books now it's like you're talking into your microphone but you're not can I show everyone my books now no so this is the other John Green <laughs> book that I was talking about The Fault in Our Stars um, so there's that one but then I was talking about the Jodie Pickett books which I have two of I have My Sister's Keeper, which I haven't read the book, but I've seen the film, and it was incredibly sad. So that's on my to-read list, and also this one, which is also by her, and it's called A Sparkle of Light, and that sounds really, really good. Oh, I'm going to cut Leave that, that out. <laughs> oh, no, I'm cutting that Amy out. Amy just farted. <laughs> that was incredibly unfeminine of me. <laughs> hey, guys, so I'm about to do a poll on Instagram. What the hell is all this? Oh. I was so confused. I thought it was my TPN bags on the table then, but it's not. It's like some package thing. But I was like, what the hell are they doing out the bin? Um, so, yeah, I'm about to do a poll on Instagram about what video you guys want me to film tomorrow. I'm going to ask you guys to leave me suggestions. Um, however, anyway, how cool is this? Tom and I got a gift bag on uh, Sunday from the Wildcats that had a small tester of this. And then I saw it in the shops today. And I literally lost it. I was like, oh my god, Tom, they have it. Because I looked online after we after we tested it. Because we tasted it and it tasted so good. And we were like, oh my god. Um, and, we, and then I looked online where you can get it from. And it literally said Tesco's UK. And I was like, um, well, that's not going to happen. Anyway, we saw it in our local shops. And it's peach Coke. Like, no sugar as well. This is, like, really good. And if you have it where you are, you should definitely try it. So, mm, it's so good. Oh, like peach and coke, my two favourite things. Actually, Pepsi's my favourite, but that's <gasps> really, really good. Well, oh, just mess up any sponsorship there with Coke, isn't it? <laughs> coke, please sponsor me. Even though I prefer Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi sponsor us. <laughs> One or the other, we don't mind. Yeah. We're just watching MKR. <laughs> so, as I promised, guys, I'm going to quickly, before I say goodnight, I want to show you guys my bullet journal because I have not showed you in some time i want to do a full video on this on for my main channel i keep saying i'm going to do it so maybe i'll film it tomorrow i'm not sure okay so i'm going to show you february's spread because you guys have seen january already my february one i did a chinese new year lantern theme um my monthly spread and i got my instagram growth tracker and my youtube growth tracker but i think i'm going to do a YouTube and Instagram milestone where you colour in when you get to a certain amount of subscribers and that can be like a whole year thing. Then I have my mood tracker which I colour in depending on how I'm feeling. So happy is red, the darker red is neutral and then the yellow is sad. Um, 
and then I have my habit trackers, video ideas, February in Polaroids, which I fill out at the end of the month because I need to print them off. So that's blank for now. Um, just February spread. And then instead of doing a different one for each week, I just switched it up between this design and this design. And then I got my little ticket that we went, we went to watch the game on last Sunday. And then this week's. And then that is next week, and it only goes up to Thursday. And then it is Feb uh, March, should I say, which I started today. Um, there is still pencil markings everywhere. I need to rub those out, but it's like a lavender kind of theme. Um, and then, as you can see, I haven't fully finished. This is just pencil and half finished, half done kind of thing. Um, and then this was my monthly spread, and because this this finishes off last month. I wanted to just do that first, then do my monthly spread, and then do my like habit trackers or mood tracker, and this will be a habit tracker, and so on and so on. So I think I might do like a plan with me um, video where I do like you know fill it out, or maybe do like a live stream on YouTube where you guys can kind of tune in and I can bullet journal and answer questions at the same time. I want to do that maybe. So anyway, that is pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy today's and yesterday's vlogs, because they should be combined, um, please do give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And Tom and I love you guys so much. He's asleep right now. Um, so, yeah. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.